Welcome back to another Stable Leash YouTube video. Today we've got the Audi SQ8 finished in with Cavara white. Now this is the black edition, so it looks absolutely stunning. This has got 507 PS, which is absolute beast. And you've got the 22 inch gorgeous alloy wheels. But today we're not gonna be reviewing the outside. Today we're gonna be looking at the infotainment center and all the features that you can change whilst you're in it to make it your very own vehicle. So let's get straight into it. So before we get into the infotainment, let's have a quick tour of the interior. So it starts as you've got the flat bottom multifunctional leather steering wheel. You've got gear pedals behind it and the speed limiter. It's really quite cool. I do like a flat bottom steering wheel because it feels quite nice, especially when you're navigating. Just behind it, you've got the digital display. This has got all the features, navigation, Apple CarPlay, driver assist, where you can view it and it'll open up a bit bigger for you to see. For starters, we've got the infotainment center, which we'll move on in a second. This is an automatic, so you've got the gear stick, gear selector just down here. You've got this automatic, very cool um, cup holder drawer. You've got your parking sensors and all of that. And you've also got this cool wood effect all around the car that you get on the doors. You get it around the dash and the center console, which is really nice. I absolutely love it. It blends really nicely with the black trim that you get and the suede Alcantara on the doors as well. Not to mention these seats. Now these are the leather seats. You've got the white stitching, the diamond patterned. Now these are really cool. S-line embossed and electronically adjustable with the lumbar support. So let's get into the infotainment center. So then let's get on to the infotainment center. You're greeted with welcome and make this your own Audi. So as you can do, uh, you can do Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but I'm not going to get into that because I've done a, a review on that on how to set it up previously. So go check that video, I'll link it right now. But if we go, you're loaded into the home screen. So you get this nice cool screen. You've got uh, radio, telephone and your navigation. So we're just going to scroll over and then you're greeted with all the options radio media telephone navigation phone apps car favorites and settings but for this we're going to go into car and this brings open settings and service but if you scroll over you've got audi drive select we'll start there you can either press that or just down here you've got the audi drive select button that you can press and it'll open up but that's only just a quick menu because it will uh, close as I just showed you now. So I press it and this has a lot more drive select than usual. This has got off-road, all-road, efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic and individual. Normally you only get um, comfort, auto, dynamic, individual. So you get all of these and this has got the raise and suspension as well. So you can just press that button just there and that will raise or lower your suspension depending on what type of road that you're gonna be driving on. So this is really easy to handle, especially for country roads um, stalk is really bad for potholes so this will easily handle um, them big dips so if we head back as well we've got next is car details so this is where you can notice your tilt angle display now not many cars on the Audi have this and it's really cool especially for the suspension and um, as you can see it's got the max and the, the um, lower, the minimum, sorry, of what it can tilt. So it's really handy to see, especially on what we are, because we're on a little bit of an angle now, as you can see, so we're at two degrees. So it's really cool to see, especially that. Heading on back now, we've got efficiency assist. Now there's not much in this. You've got predictive text and economy tips. So there's not too much to talk about for that one. But these seats and now I had to play around before I started film and these are really cool. Now, if you press this button, this will alter the passenger or the driver side seat, depending on what you're doing. So if you're, um, so if you're in this driving seat and you wanna change some uh, options, you can. So to start off with, you've got this leg extender um, just down here and you can lower or bring it more out and this alters your seat or if you want to just go on the passenger this can do by pressing that button there and this will change how comfy that you are so that i can just show you that does the leg extender if you go up this can change the lumbar support on the side and um, the side of the back and the side of your legs which is really cool on this one you can lower the heat where you want it more so if you want to just on your legs 
a lot on your legs a lot more than your back then this can be changed if you say that you've got bad back problems then this could be handy for you and lastly easy entry from the driving seat so they're really cool and i really do like that feature on the aircon it's not just on there but it's mainly on the bottom that you get it so this has got uh, you can easily just switch it off from there but if you just press aircon this can be turned up and made it very individual for your driving side seat and this has also got your rear one as well so that you can just press that button there and then rear and this will sort out the rear passenger seats as well to make them warm or cold which is really individual so it's really quite cool i can just switch that off and press rear mode exit and then if i just press back on aircon then you've got the driving side heated front seats as well which is really easy to control and the individual temperature so i quite like the aircon in the q8 up next we've got light and vision now this is where it makes it very personal for you to make it a very unique so you've got the exterior light and automatic headlights and entry so you've got early medium and late if we go back though we go on background lighting now this is really cool so you've got all these um, setup ones you've got contour vision solar impulse um, so as you can see it changes the background board so you can make it very individual now this is where you can make it brighter or lower but if you go into there this is where you have the surfaces and the contours that you can change over 30 different colors now for brightness that's easily done but for colors you've got all these 30 different colors that you can change and as you can see that changes the background of the lighting but if you go into then contours then this will change the color of the main beam as you can see right there so that's really cool and that's where it can be really made individual for your personal needs especially if you like more than blue and um, it really will light up at night so i really do like the background and you've got the 30 different colors to choose from so it's really quite quite nice up next we've got the parking aid and now this is really cool because you've got all the rear volumes but if you press these buttons just down here as you can see you've got the front camera but if i just press here it'll show you the back one it's got the sides as well and also the front but that's not all if i press 3d on there you've got the surround view camera as well and uh, you can either move it around by scrolling as i'm doing now or you can just press that and the camera will show it for you for different angles and that will be really handy especially if you're trying to get into them tight spots so that's the parking aid and finally driver assist so you've got maximum individual and basic so that's all really pretty cool finally i'll just show you the settings because you've got the entertainment navigation telephone contracts and all of them so then lastly we're just going to show you very briefly on the navigation um, so as you can see we're right next to the stoke stadium so you've got that 3d um, model right there but i'm just going to show you for instance if we want to go to a uh, power league group um, we can just press navigation and this will take us there and it will show us how to get there on to the digital display so that makes it really unique and you can press view to make it a lot bigger so it's nice and easy to see instead of looking off to the left a little bit and catching your eye a little bit more it's nice and easy straight in front of you and finally if you didn't want to have the screen on if you just like a blank screen some people do they find it a little bit distracting well here's the button just down here and that will turn the screen on and off which makes it nice and easy for you to not get distracted so then let's round it off in here because it's raining but i hope you have enjoyed this little tour of the infotainment center on the sq8 if you want to see a big review of the q8 e-tron then i'll put the link in the bio right now so you can go and see that if you wanted to see the outside of the q8 but if you have enjoyed us then give us a like and a follow but until next friday i'll see you later